Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? to do today actually has to do with with my mobile phone and what we're going to do is we're going to open up a patch from the uh, Holonic source uh, and this is uh, a pretty pretty wonderful um, just new way to experience music or uh, you know play around with uh, how to modulate music or modulate synthesizers using real world events and what do I, what do i mean by that well uh, as a developer that uh developed an application that works for iphone that allows you to essentially use your iphone as a way to modulate uh parameters within a within a synthesizer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a Holonic Stranger bass sequence sequencer, which you can imagine, you know, what that is. And... Sounds about right. Sounds like about the right tempo. And let's show wires on this guy. And you can see what this is plugged into, but what you can't see really yet is what is modulating it or changing it. And what I'm going to do now is demonstrate the beautiful uh, Holonic Source uh, reactor blocks and um, mess around with modulating the reactor blocks mess around with modulating the reactor blocks um, by using events from my phone and how am I going to do that well I'm going to pop uh, my phone screen which I'm recording uh, on onto view here so that you can see it but I'm going to open up the uh, Holonist, Holonist, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, application, and I'm going to show you how this is done. First off, the real area that matters is mappings. And this application I'm opening it just from my home screen, but it can be downloaded from the App Store, obviously. And so if you go to just search Holonist, or not Holonif, Holonist, and it'll come right up. And it's on sale right now. It's normal prices, you know, so depending on when you watch this, you know, it's uh, going to be kind of late July 2019. And what this allows you to do is freaking amazing. And I, I'm, I'm holding off talking about it because it's hard to put into words. But it essentially allows you to gather data from your phone, guys, from your damn phone. And use that data from your phone to then modulate the synthesizer that you're hearing in real time and by modulate what do I mean by that well exactly what I mean you can take parameters and 
you can quite literally map these parameters from the holonic source reactor block and you can then open up the holonist app on your mobile application and when you open it up the mapping section is again like i said it's not the only section that matters but it's the most fun section because you can see what is actually affecting the parameters so for example gravity um, the gravity changes for me when i do this sort of emotion with my phone and you can see number one going up in this case and so what number one is modulating it might be a few things but right now I th all I can see is it's modulating just the wave shape between a sive into between a sign into more of a you know a buzz saw or square shape you know so see on that first bento box oscillator you know you can see that a modulation uh, section light up as I tilt my phone this way and if you follow on the screen you can also see there's a gauge uh, and then a, you know the screen of my phone there's also a gauge on number one that uh, you know goes all the way to the end pretty much and then starts back at zero when I tilt my phone and then if you follow that motion again in real time on the video it's all happening in real time and it's it's crazy because I'm using my phone for this okay so that's number one that's this mapping and then number two is acceleration so from what I can tell you can see number two light up whenever I basically like look whenever I play like I'm gonna throw my phone but I don't like I, I obviously keep it in my hand so another cool thing you can use to really that I've seen is the view and you can see the view in real time for Holonic Source is showing you like a, a peak and then a um, a different uh, you know like like a peak and then a trough uh, for um, you know almost like in a lane you know like a swim lane but you can change the view from meters to scope That way, if I wanted to look for the scope on number two, I can really verify that it's, you know, the the action that I'm taking is, is really having an effect. So again, going back to number one, I can verify, okay, when I do this, uh, you know, tilting it all the way upward, it goes all the way upward, and then it goes all the way back down. So that's the view settings, and then the range setting, it's going to be fun to keep that on one second. You want it to be real time, so that's what that is. And then the pre and post is how soon it detects. So pre is, is from what I can tell, how soon it detects a change from your phone, and post is how quickly it 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 pushes that chain that change out through the modulation path of either one through eight so um damn cool stuff and the mapping for number uh two is that it's acceleration let's look at the scope for number three it's actually heading so if you see if i spin let me kind of put this again in view of the camera. If you, if I spin my phone like uh, record, then I'm changing the heading. I'm changing the uh, relationship to the direction that my phone is pointed to. If it's pointed to true north or it's pointed towards the sun, I'm changing the heading of that phone as if I'm a submarine, right? I'm changing the heading. 
And then gyro, from what I can tell, is, uh, so this is number four. It's more like gyrospheric activity, I think. I think. It's kind of hard to do. I don't really actually know. So I guess I, I, there it is. So I guess if I just kind of shake it. And that's number four. I hit the back button. Number five is picking it up from the internet, and so is number six. It's cloud and sun elevation. Number seven is just time. You can see it's just ticking upward. It's converting time into a CV signal from, you know, zero to 100. Then face up is a face up posture. And so all of these, all of these can be controlled from my phone which, again, is just bananas. Just freaking, it's completely awesome. And this is a great patch to learn on. It's also totally relevant because the newest season of Stranger Things is totally badass. I mean, let's get real. Um, but let's play with this. Let's like, okay, so this is cool. What if I want to hear like the actual reverb or delay that's, you know, po possibly in that patch? So set the phone down for a second and I'll add this uh, rounds delay real quick. Okay, so now we're patched in and it's not doing anything yet. Let's let's actually change the mix based on the time value. It just continuously goes upward and upward and upward. So now my phone's asleep. We're uh we're done recording, so let me start a new phone recording. Just in case. And um, what we want to do is hook it up to, I mean, like the minute option is pretty damn cool. So um, what I'm going to do, I think, is hook up number seven is not even assigned. Let's hook up number seven to the modulation A input on the delay. Notice, I think number seven is not really changing. Why is that? Because the rate at which it rises and falls needs to change. So it needs to change from one hour. You can change between one second, one minute, one hour. And I want it to rise and fall pretty fast. You know. So just like at the range of the minute, you know. And so you can you can control the speed or the, the rise time or the fall time of the slew limiter, you know, the speed, with the rise and fall control settings. And then level is obviously the amount of modulation change coming from your phone you want to send out to that output. So really awesome, uh, really impeccably implemented, and now we can just kind of play with this a little bit and have some fun.
Luckily, it lands in a padded area, which I carefully put there on purpose, and my, fo my, my phone has a case. So when encouraged to throw your phone or do sweeping motions because you're trying to modulate a synthesizer with your phone, um, be careful. The message of this is also be careful with your stuff. But also, uh, have fun, and, uh, you know, on that note, until next time. Thank <laughs> you.